A very good afternoon and welcome to yet another edition of the Yes One of Our Visual Radio. For the news first thing this afternoon, I'm Jawad Abdin. We start off with a look at your headlines. News first headline. In heavy in headlines while the heavy rain triggers landslide alerts across several Sri Lankan districts. Red alert Sri Lanka braces for torrential downpours over 200 mm. Obama blasts crazy Trump in first rally for Harris. And in sports, wood on target as New Zealand beat Tahiti 3 0 in opening World Cup qualifier. Anti news in detail now. In local news, the process to submit nominations for the 2024 general election ended at 12 noon today. Now, accordingly, the process was conducted at district secretariats. The deadline for independent groups to submit their deposits was also at noon today. Additionally, political parties contesting the general election submitted their national list by the same deadline. The Election Commission urged candidates to conduct their election campaigns in compliance with election laws and to maintain fairness throughout the process. Now shifting your attention towards more local news and on to your weather. Now, the National Building Research Organization, also known as the NBRO, has issued an early warning for potential landslides in several districts due to the ongoing heavy rainfall. The warning highlights the following areas at risk. Now, Badula District, Alla, Haliala, and Pasara Divisional Secretariat Divisions and surrounding areas, Colombo District, Sita Worker Divisional Secretariat Division and surrounding areas, in the Gold District, Yakalamulla and Niagama Divisional Secretary Divisions with increased uh, risk in Badegama, Nelua, Nagoda and Alpitya Divisional Secretary Divisions. And in the Gampaha District, Atanagala, DSD and surrounding areas, Kalutra District, Beruola and Palindunuwara DSDs with heightened risk in Matugama, Dodangoda, Walalavita Rada, Horana, Bulat Singhala and Ingiri DSDs. In Kegol District, Yatiyan Tota, Dehiovita and Varakapala DSDs with increased risk in Ruan Valla. Continuing in the Mathra District, in Akurasa DSD rather and surrounding areas. In the Nuvareli District, in Ambagamo DSD and surrounding areas. Ratnapura District, Ahaliyakoda and Kalavana DSDs and surrounding areas. Now, the NBRO also advises residents in these areas, especially those in mountainous regions, man-made cut slopes and roads within the relevant DSDs to remain vigilant. Special attention is required for areas previously identified as landslide prone by the NBRO. The public is urged to take necessary precautions and stay informed about the latest updates to ensure safety during this period of adverse weather conditions. And uh, on to more local news, your update on torrential downpours, downpours rather predicted over 200 millimeters for the day. The prevailing showery conditions in the southwest now, the Sri Lanka Med Department has issued a red warning for heavy rain in the western Sabaragamo and northwestern provinces, as well as the Gaul and Mathra district. According to the weather bulletin, showers or thunder showers are expected at times in the western Sabaragamo, southern and northwestern provinces. The bulletin further indicates that very heavy showers exceeding 200 millimeters are likely in the western and Sabaragamo provinces and in the Gaul and Mathra districts. Now, residents in these areas are advised to take necessary precautions to mitigate the impact of the heavy rainfall and also potential flooding. And up next is international news. International news. Now, on to your news overseas. Former U.S. President Barack Obama lashed out at crazy Donald Trump and urged voters to back Kamala Harris as he brought his star power to the 2024 election campaign trail 
for the first time. Now, as he hit the stump in the must-win state of Pennsylvania, Obama also shided blackmail voters for what he called hesitancy in supporting Democrat Harris because they just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as a president. Now, Obama trained his fire on Trump during a pumped-up rally in Pittsburgh, comparing the Republicans' long speeches to late Cuban communist leader Fidel Castro's and calling the billionaire out of touch with ordinary people. And up next is your update on sports. Sports News. Finally, in sports, it is football. In football, it is the World Cup qualifiers. Now, Chris Wood scored his 35th international goal as New Zealand got their quest for a spot at the 2026 World Cup off to a solid start with a 3-0 victory over to hitting Group B of the second round of Oceania qualifying on Friday. The All-Whites have been the dominant force in Oceania football since Australia jumped ship to the Asian Confederation in 2006, but have fallen short in intercontinental playoffs in their last three attempts to qualify for the World Cup. The expanded 2026 tournament, however, means direct passage for the best team from Oceania and the New Zealanders know that winning five qualifying matches will secure them a third trip to the finals after 1982 and 2010. And with that, we wrap up this edition of the Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the news first team this afternoon, I've been Jodh Abdin. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.